What's up, guys? It's Steven. Um, just giving an update on my channel. I've been doing album reviews here and there every couple of weeks. And uh, I want to continue that. i got a big stack of CDs, and I'm also going to be doing uh, live vlogs after Battle Axe Warrior meetings, maybe during. And um, <clears throat> just continuing to surround myself with hip-hop and reflecting on it, reviewing it, and sharing it with whoever feels they can look it up on YouTube. You know, if you're interested in Battle Axe Warriors and you want to hear it from someone who isn't just advertising Battle Axe Warriors and is actually in it and enthusiastic about it, I mean, because there's plenty of pages that just say join Battle Axe Warriors and the code of conduct and all that stuff. It's really easy to understand, but if you want someone to break it down and articulate it in words, I can do that in vlog as well. And I have plans to do that as well, why I joined it and all that kind of stuff. And uh, just hip-hop albums that I'm feeling, shows that I've went to, those are all going to be found on this channel. I'm doing uh, album reviews of Beautiful Death Machine, Soul and Members, a 2013 album, 13 songs. Really massive, it's like Bad Dreams and... and um, Daggermouth, like combined, Sealance commanding most of the production, insane, everything's hard, and wordplay comes at you and rips your face off, it's awesome. Mad Child's Silver Tongue Devil I'm going to review as well. It's pretty great, reflects on the past, hints at the future, you know there's sides of Mad Child we've seen that he perfects and, and puts a new spin on, there's sides of Mad Child we haven't seen that we want to see more of, and then, you know, that album's just the beginning, like every album is for these guys, like, his catalog is already impressive, and his solo career has only been three years and he's insane at it so I got a 32 song Snow Goons compilation going on here Snow Goons Dynasty album one album two um, <clears throat> a lot to say about it it's gonna be probably a two-part video um, yeah you know people are getting curious about Snow Goons on my Instagram about who they are and why I'm reviewing them and all that kind of stuff and, and that'll all be brought to light there um, Snack the Rippers Just Giver as well some more Canadian hip hop. Nothing that Americans are too really up on, but uh, I hope I hope to open some eyes with this review because it's really it's a really groundbreaking album. He's a really talented dude, um, <clears throat> and um, you know, and I I did Mercury's Scars as well, and then Mercury's works closely with Snack the Ripper. He's got a feature on here too. Sick Nature, Nature of the Contaminated, really dope. Um, I quite I quite like it. He's like. It's like a moral technique, kind of, if you're familiar with the moral technique and the subjects that he tackles. Sick Nature does it, but more aggressive sound, faster rhyming, all linked together with the groundbreaking production of the Snow Goons, which is, don't even get me started on the Snow Goons, man. I could make a review for the rest of my life about how much I love their beats. Motherfuck the World by Brothers Grimm. Um, local group, but they're by no means bound to Edmonton, like a lot of MCs are. They've toured Canada with Mad Child. On the 2013 Lawnmower Man Tour. DLs for Edmonton. See, they got a uh, Mad Child or a Battle Axe Warrior logo in there. Really talented guys. There's absolutely no censorship on here. Everything on this album is everything they wanted to put in this album. Like, it's crazy. And, you know, I don't think it's on iTunes. I don't think it's on the internet anywhere. Maybe it is. Maybe it's on, like, um, maybe it's on Dip Path or something like that or a mixtape website. But uh, if you want a hard copy and you find yourself in Edmonton, they're at literally any local show there's a merch booth that has this album it's everywhere you know what i mean it's <clears throat> it's really great fighting words diabolic long island mc recently got added to battle axe warriors if you're familiar if the name sounds familiar it's because he was on a couple of moral technique joints and moral technique actually signed him um art is pretty simple not much going on here booklets really simple too and um <clears throat> Yeah, you know, this is just the beginning for Diabolic, too. You know, he got out of the sticky label situation at Viper, and he's just hasn't stopped since. Everything he's done so far has just been groundbreaking and awesome. So, And then I got Zarface as well. Every hero needs a villain. <clears throat> um, really enjoyed this album. You know, it's, it brings the boom bap, 90s New York feel to this album. You know, and there's comic books, skits, and everything like that, and the artwork is all comical and stuff like that and it just looks like a real like it looks like a silver age comic book from marvel and i'm you know i i just get excited even thinking about this album because i'm a comic book nerd too and i love it so that's the gist of it and um uh, what goes on there um that's the plan for my hip-hop thing album reviews back score updates why i joined why i'm still there and what i hope to do while i'm there you know because i just 
it, it only goes up from here with all the things I'm interested in, and I only get more excited, so, yeah. 